really easy to sit down so you can get your feet into it. Steve obviously knows what my sense of balance is like already. Would you like to think about getting into that one? Yep. Well, to provide. I hope that come up with a vaccine <laughs> soon. The, yeah, so do I. Oh, well. Come on. <laughs> Nice round there. Thank you. Get one of those. So sleeves or neck first? Sorry? So sleeves or neck first? How do you mean shoulders? Twelve. Do you have a look? And then you can either do it up for them or you can do it up yourself at the back. Which is that. This is incredibly tight. Mm -hmm. What have you done? Yeah. The masks aren't initially as intuitive as you think they're going to be. This crossed. one should be... The top one should be at the bottom. Sorry, mm. come off. You don't need to go over you, yeah? And the bottom well, one needs to go... Then. Yeah. Mm. Yep. That you've pinched the nose so it fits securely around the nose. And what I'd like you to do now is just have a very sharp intake of breath. Because that's good. If you look at that, the actual we're looking for the actual mask to collapse a bit. So you'd like your glasses back, come on. Can you see that correct? Yeah. Yes. So the next thing is to actually put the hood on. This is where you get the itchy nose, though. And the problem is, you know, the, the issue here is not so much having the kit on, which you'll find most uncomfortable. Hang okay, on, that's not going to go over. Just want to ease it slightly, but then you need to check each other again. Yeah. So you want to get that on. And the idea, you need to check each other here because we do not want any skin showing above the top of the visor. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Right, next thing yeah, is, is to put on the second pair of gloves. Yeah. So it's either the same size or the one above. So we need to now, we need to look at your, your apron here because it's not quite doing what it should do, is it? And a bit of a suit. Yeah. That's it. And then, and then you can actually trap that. Okay. Well, you've got to touch your base layers. So, yeah. Okay. What we're going to do now is, is, is potentially move the most dangerous gear. So the apron yep. and the outer pair of gloves yep. come off together. But, be, but, but to do that, you need to actually help each other. Okay. So I'm going to ask you to go behind. Yeah. And uh, what I want you to do is to rip. So to break that, um, just rip it right down so it's loose. Yep. That, yeah. And break that seal there. And if you do the same with your apron on for Sarah. Excellent. And just slide this off the shoulders for as well. Well, you can do that, yeah. yeah. Now, if you hold pause there, it is imperative that you fold this all in on itself so you get none of the outside touching your inside. And at the same time, when you get down to the wrists, the gloves come off. The outer pair of the gloves come off at the same time with that apron. Roll and it's quite good because you've got to... Roll it all up into the ball. Big old pedestal. Okay. That's that, and then take your gloves off, open and wrap it in. And then it goes in the clinical waste. Can you do that? Take the gloves off. I want, I, want, I, want, I want the gloves to come off at the same time. And then you roll it all up as small as possible. I cocked up. By not them. touching the outside. <laughs> you still got the inside. Yeah. yeah. Uh, everything is clinical waste, single use only. Now, what I'd like you to do is unzip your body's suits. Okay. Now, what, you, what I'd like you to do, um, Sarah, is to, is to come from behind. You, well, yeah, you do, do, that, do that now, it's not a problem. And slide it over your shoulders so that it clears the elbows. The reason for that is that once it clears the elbows, he can actually... Okay. Wriggle out of it himself. Hold it there, that's it. And, yep. you, and we need to achieve the same for you. Okay. Do you want me to do it? And if it might be slightly tricky with his arms. How would you actually know in fairness? How would the two of us do this? There would, when you actually come to do this, if yep. you, there would be a third person without shadow of a doubt, either myself uh, or somebody from infection control. Somebody, yeah. might even be myself, somebody will be around okay. to actually make sure that this can be done. And they would also be suited and be Yeah, also. absolutely. So, Okay. Let me just use it off your shoulders yeah, yeah. and inside that. Okay. Then to stop. Just carry on with that, that's all fabulous. Okay. 
Yeah. Yourself. And the next thing I'm going to ask you to do is carry out hand hygiene. Right. So we. And again, that's clinical waste. So much better. Oops. The, the purpose of this is to give you confidence about removal. It's yeah. not just about getting the gear on, it's more about confidence in removal. So we'll see whether we've actually managed to contaminate ourselves. And we haven't, despite the fact that you've turned turn, turn, turn your hands over, you have not contaminated yourself. Now I'm going to shine it up near your face and your, and your eyes, so I'll ask you to close your eyes. That's just the natural thing. No, there is no, come on, there's no Amazing. contamination. Yeah. 